What is real unity? In the human world, there are many collective expressions of unity. Physically, man is unified by being set apart from the animal kingdom. Then there is the unity of the different languages, the unity of the family, the unity of governments, political parties, and organizations. There is racial unity and cultural unity. But all of these are limited forms of unity and have limited effects in the world. They are not real unity because they do not include everyone in the world of humanity. And it is said that the purpose of true unity is real and divine in its outcomes, and that this unlimited unity produces unlimited results. In order for real unity to be real and true, it must first be a unity that recognizes that man is one. That humanity is a tree and each person is like a leaf on this tree. Each being unique, but not separate from the whole. And that this tree is sheltered beneath the overshadowing glory of the all-glorious. All are servants of one God, living on the same earth, receiving light from the same sun, growing and developing on the same land, and are under the protection of the same God. This is the greatest unity, and if man adheres to it, the results are everlasting. Unfortunately, here too man has violated spiritual unity, and has chosen a sectarian or other limited unities, such as racial, patriotic, or unity of self-interest, and is mostly unaware of what spiritual unity is. Therefore, no great results have been forthcoming. In the last 150 years, the mind of man has developed and his perceptions sharpened. Science and technology have increased, becoming widespread, so that now the capacity and means exist for the propagation and promulgation of the real, unlimited unity of mankind. Another unity is the spiritual unity which is said to emanate from the breast of the Holy Spirit. This is a greater unity than the unity of mankind. It is found in the heart. Human unity or solidarity may be likened to the body, whereas unity from the breast of the Holy Spirit is the spirit animating that body. This is a perfect unity. It creates such a condition in man that each one will make sacrifices for the other and the utmost desire will be to forfeit life and all that pertains to it on behalf of another's good. It is what caused the believers of God to give their life and love and devotion to each other and God. Those who are wedded to this unity see the friend and the stranger as one. Throughout history, every soul who believed in the divine manifestation of their day, became revivified and resuscitated through the Spirit and attained to the zenith of eternal glory, realizing the life everlasting, experiencing the second birth, and rose to the acne of good fortune. When this unity is realized on a global scale, the world of humanity will be made into a new world, and the ways of the world in which we live now will be remembered as a bad dream that faded into history.